go. Hello YouTube, hey it's Sean, I'm back. Today we put in a release bearing, slave cylinder, whatever you want to call it, in a 95 Ford F-150. If you've ever done one of those, you know they are bare to bleed. But today we're going to show you a trick that'll make it so easy you'll wish you'd have known this years ago. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we're going to use to bleed this is this Mighty Vac vacuum gauge. This cup here will put all the extra fluid as it sucks the air out. If you don't have one of these, you can get it at Harbor Freight. They're like 40 bucks. I suggest you get one. It makes this life so much easier. The problem is this line goes down over the frame, and that's where the air gets trapped. So you can pump the pedal, you can bleed it from underneath, but you never get the air out of there. So what you do is you take this, you put this little coned end on it. That's it. And you go over to the master cylinder, the reservoir, and on this particular Ford, it's up front, it's close. I know where it is, so it goes right down in easy for me. Don't feel bad if you have to hunt around for it because I've been there not too long ago. So then once it's in there, we'll just start to pump and you'll see it'll pull, see those bubbles coming out? And as it pulls those bubbles out, it creates a vacuum. And when we pull this line out, the vacuum will suck that fluid down into the air pockets. And once there are no more bubbles coming out, and just give this a few pumps, you'll get to the point where you see no bubbles. And when you see no more bubbles coming out, see we're still getting a few. And the other thing, if your gauge is holding vacuum, that means you've got no leaks. Show, show this vacuum. See how that's holding, that gauge? That means there's no leaks in this system. That's a good thing. So we'll just pump it a little bit, we'll get the bubbles out, and we'll pump until we get no more bubbles when we have just steady fluid. We'll remove this line, and we should be ready to roll. We'll just wait a few minutes here, just be patient with it, it'll get them all out. And you may have to do this two times, not a big deal. There we go, we got some more coming out. And I think at this point where it's pretty steady, we'll pull this line out, let the fluid sink down into the slave cylinder, and then we'll check the pedal. It sucked it down pretty good, but it didn't go dry. That's the important thing. You don't want that to go dry either. Okay, I'm gonna top that off and check the pedal. I'll get back to you. Ready, go. Okay, we have about half pedal, so we're going to do this one more time. And here we go. Like we're getting a lot of fluid, but we'll get some air bubbles. You just watch, it'll happen. We just have to be patient with it. There we go, see? Yeah, we got plenty of vacuum. The gauge is holding. So I was just telling him the gauge is holding. We just want to make sure we don't have any leaks. Okay, I'm going to pull this tube out, suck it down, and then I'll go in and check the pedal again. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is our third time, and we're still getting a few bubbles. You can see some up here and down here, but they're not that bad. So we're just going to let it sit here for about five minutes because we've still got plenty of vacuum. I'm running 25 inches of mercury on the vacuum. So we'll just let it sit here for a few minutes, maybe four or five minutes, and then check the pedal. See, here comes another one. Believe me, you would never get that out. Have you ever done one of these, I don't know if you own a shop or not, and pumped the pedal and got the clutch, and then the next day the customer comes back, no pedal? This eliminates all of that. All right, we'll just let it sit here and then we'll get back. Okay, here we are in the truck. Just want to show you that the pedal is solid. We have perfect travel. That's how you bleed them. 
Thanks for coming along. Thanks for coming along and watching us. We appreciate it. The third time was a charm. Don't feel bad if you've got to do this four or five, six times. There's a lot of air down there. This clutch feels brand new and we'll never see it again until it needs something else other than this. Thanks for watching.